concepts, not memorize the technique, because the concepts you can apply over and over again. So, what I did for this arm triangles is forcing, getting my shoulder lower, not letting him get in here. And also on the guillotine, when I was escaping the guillotine, I was getting uh, perpendicular to my opponent and, and switching instead to be in front of him, I was getting sideways and, and giving more space to my neck. So I kind of going to put this, those two together now for this next position. Yeah. Now you shoot, whatever you do. He's on his knees doing the arm triangle uh, in front of me. I got here. you. Yeah. So he's here. What I'm going to do, I can hold my hands or not. It doesn't matter much. What I have to do is force my elbow backward. Remember, he wanted me here. Okay? If my elbow, my shoulder close to my head, I'm done. So what I have to do, create a space. So what I'm going to do, I keep my elbow on the ground, put my toes on the ground, and I go forward. And I keep holding here. Okay? I could come all the way on my chest and hold here. The position. There's no more pressure. But we also learn be perpendicular will change the dynamic of his choke. So as I'm doing this, I will keep moving inside. And I keep coming here. Ah, he can uh, go to my back. Yes, he can. Ah, he can switch for a guillotine. Yes, but before he switch for the guillotine, he has to let him go his grip. So when he let, if he let him go, then I can hold here. Once I feel his hand is open, I have a control two. With my two hands, his wrist, and now I can back him up. Okay, so once he locked, I get my elbow down. I, I don't want you guys to score. I don't want you guys to do that because you're gonna help him. If I move, if I'm here and move backward, my shoulder is close to my head again. So what I'm doing is I move forward. Now my shoulder is really far away from my head. To still help me, I keep sneaking inside here, this hand can be holding his arm, and once I have the opportunity, I break free. If I have a chance, after he letting go his grip, I hold two hands on his arm, and I get up. If he switches for a guillotine, it's awesome. Okay guys, keep in mind, the guy is attacking the arm bar, you are defending. If he letting go the arm bar, to go for the choke, the choke is awesome because I no longer in danger. He has to start a new submission. He has to adjust everything. He's gonna have uh, that uh, fraction of second where he has no control and I can break his grip. I can hold his hand and defend myself. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, yeah, I could defend my arm, but I was feeling if I defend my arm, he will come to the triangle. Awesome, man. Let him go to the triangle, you're about to tap. Uh, no, I just used the tap of the armbar, I just don't want to. Okay, so, the concept will be the same. Drive him forward, okay, and then keep coming at him. If you feel you breaking his grip, you come, and now I can back him up. Okay, with guillotines and arm triangles, I just consider you defending the submission once his arm is not around your neck anymore. If his arm is still around your neck, I might do this, you know, hold. I defend and I'm here, so I defend, right? So then I'm getting cocky and I do this and then he pull me back again. Point, now I'm done. You free, you defend after your head is up. Same thing with the guillotine. I see, I see a lot of pressure. A lot of people doing the guillotine, he break my head, and then he relax. Once he relax, point. The guillotine again. He's free when his head is free. He break my head, he pull his head out. Now he's defending the submission.